If you are running a restaurant, hotel or that kind of organization where customer visit a lot, feedback system is very much important because depending on the feedbacks and reviews and the experiences that customer get, you will get to know what are the things you can do to improve your business. So in that case, getting feedbacks from customer is very important. Now the thing is, if you want to purchase a feedback system application, it will cost you a lot and it will increase the dependency of an external outsource developer. So it would be much better to build your very own feedback dashboard and form. So how you can build it? Hi, I'm Gaurav from Know How Academy. If I talk about a feedback system, we don't need very much high functionality in that as we just need two screens. First will be our feedbacks dashboard where we can see our feedbacks and the other one will be for the customers where they can submit their feedbacks. So in order to create this small application, we can take the help of Power Apps. Now, before moving further, let me tell you what you are going to learn in this video. In this video, we are going to create our feedback dashboard system with the help of our Power Apps and SharePoint lists. Also, we will display a pie chart depending on our feedback types and we will create a Power Automate flow to send the email to the customer when he or she adds a feedback. So first, now in our SharePoint, I will create a new list. I will select a blank list and I will name it Feedbacks. Now, I will just hide my title column and add a new column which will be name for storing the customer name. Then I will add email. After that, I will take a choice type column which will be feedback type choice. First will be our suggestions. Second will be complaints and third will be our appreciation. In the default, I will select suggestions and save. Now after that, I will create a multi line of text for comments and a number type column for storing the rating. Now we have created our SharePoint list. So after that, I will go to my Power Apps and create a new blank application and I will name it Feedback Dashboard. Now in the screen one, first I will create our Feedback Dashboard. Then I will take a vertical gallery and here I will select SharePoint. After selecting the connection, I will select my SharePoint site and the list will be Feedbacks. I will connect it. In the beginning, it's empty. So I will add a sample record here. Now we have added a sample record here. So I will go and refresh my list. Now here I will change the layout. After selecting the layout, first I will display my name, font size, I will give it 17. Similarly, I will show here the comments, then our feedback type dot value because it's a choice column. But before that, I will add our email. Instead of this, we can increase the size and place the email here, then display this or we can simply remove the email here. We will display the type. Then here will be our comments. In the comments, I will give the comment size to 13 and suggestion will be 15. Now I will just drag it like here. This will be complete and, and done. Now I will take a rectangle and in my rectangle, I will add a label here. I will write feedback dashboard. Then size will be 21 and our color will be white and font weight will be bold now we have added our dashboard now we need to create another screen for the users and customers to add their reviews so for that i will go to my tree view select the new screen which will be a blank screen and it will be add review i will copy the rectangle paste here similarly i will copy the label paste here and instead here will be add your review now we need a form here so i will select the edit form select the feedback now this is our form and we don't need title so I will simply remove the title from here. As you can see, the ratings is a text box, but we don't need a text box. We need star ratings here. So for that, first I will unlock my data card. I will remove it here in the insert. I will select rating. Now in the rating, I want the max out of 10 and in the default, I will select parent dot default. Now these are the error. This is the height and width. I will remove it simply. And for the value, I will write rating. What is the name? Rating one dot value. So it's done. Now we just need to increase the size of our data card. Now I will increase the size of our rating. Now the width, I will increase it to 200 and height will be 78. Now we need to select our form mode, which will be new form, form mode, not new. And if I preview it here, we can select them. Now to submit, we need a button here. So I will add a button here. I will write submit and on select, I will write submit form then our form one and done. Now, if I test it and add a new rating here, I will write a name here. I will select the feedback type complain bad 
food submit so our form has been submitted but we need a notification so after that here i will write reset form then select our form and after our form is succeeded we will notify here i will write notify feedback saved successfully here notification type will be dot success and duration will be 1000 ms also if i go to our feedback dashboard we have our second record now i will add another record to check our notification so i will add a name here i will add an email and feedback type here instead of choice 3 it should be appreciation then save now if i refresh my database and select on preview here i will add the name the email and feedback type select appreciation great service and i will select the rating and click on submit so here our feedback has been saved successfully now it's working perfectly we will go back to our feedback dashboard and i want to add some more things here like i want to filter by my feedback type so i will add a drop down here and in the items i will create an array first will be suggestion second will be our complaints third will be our appreciation and in the last i will write all now we have added our options in our drop down so for filtering i will go to my gallery here and i will add first an if condition if this will be type dd now this will be our type dd and in the filter condition if type dd dot selected dot value is equal to all then it will display feedback and if type dd dot selected dot value not equal to all then filter feedbacks where feedback type dot value is equal to type dd dot selected dot value here we have added our condition if type dd dot selected dot value is equal to all then it will display all the feedbacks and if our drop down is not equal to all then it will filter by the drop down value so to check i will preview here if i select complaints we are getting complaints if i select appreciation we are getting appreciation and if i select all I'm getting all now if I want to show a pie chart according to our feedbacks data so for that I will simply add a pie chart now I will decrease the size here and increase the width of our chart now we want to add our data so I will go here and in the item I will write first I will write my feedbacks now we need to add columns so I will select add columns my new column name will be type name then I will select feedback type dot value comma feedback type dot value here the label will be the type name also we'll need to write group feedback so i will write the type name and here i will add group by after formatting we need to add another column to display the total number so here i will write add columns now add columns i will write here column name which is total which will be count rows this record dot group feedback and done now as you can see we have label type name and series total so this is how you can use your pie chart to display the records now i will create a new screen which will be our blank screen and i will copy my label here and now in the feedback dashboard i will copy it and paste in our screen 3 i will cop name it my hotel here i will add two buttons first will be dashboard and the second will be add review here i will write add review in the advanced section i will write navigate to add review and in the dashboard i will navigate to navigate to our feedback dashboard now this will be our main screen where these two buttons will be present let me increase the button height here now i want my this button to be hidden for our customers so for that we can go to our app start here on our app on start i will create a variable which will be my email and its value will be user dot email now after that i will run on start and now in our dashboard button i will go to our visible property and here if i write here my email in then i will add an array and first i will add an email and if i preview it i cannot see it now if our main screen i will select the button and i remove this email and enter my email which is this and simply paste it here so my button is visible here so this is how you can differentiate between the customer and the admin now we want to send an email to the customer who adds a review so for that i will go to my power automate 
I will select create then I will simply select skip I will turn off the new designer now here I will select when an item is created now I will select my SharePoint site then I will select my SharePoint list which is feedback now I will select a new step which will be send an email v2 in the to section I will add the dynamic content which will be user email in the subject I will write thank you from my hotel and here I will write there then select the name thank you for sharing your feedback now I will select the feedback type value we will try to improve our services now i will simply select save so now our flow is ready to go so to test that we need to add a new record so i will just simply select add review here i will add my name then add my email and here i will select complaints room service can be improved i will select the rating then click on submit so here our record has been created now i will go to my feedback dashboard and here we can see we have another record here so to check our automate flow i will go back and flow hasn't run right now but it will run in a minute or two let me refresh it so now our flow has ran successfully and if i go to my email here we have gotten our email thank you from my hotel and there after my name has been added thank you for sharing your feedback complaints we will try to improve our services so this is how you can send email so this is how we can build our feedback dashboard in our power apps so in this video we learned how to create a feedback dashboard system in our power apps with the help of sharepoint list also we created a pie chart to display according to the feedback types and then we created a power automate flow to send the email to the customer who has added a review thank you for choosing know how academy as your it source we are always there to help you navigate to the tech world it's been a pleasure sharing this information with you so stay curious and keep learning